Before the construction comes the destruction. Much of the concrete core of the old New Street station will form the skeleton of the new one, but a large part has to go. This is the old NCP car park above the train tracks, but it'll become a vast open atrium, so several floor levels need to be removed piece by piece. That particular block weighs about 10 tonnes, and there are a thousand of them that need to be moved out of here. In total, around 7,500 tonnes of concrete is heading out of the door. Diamond cutting saws chop the slabs into manageable chunks, which are then lifted away on chains. Meanwhile, concrete crunching claws eat away at the harder to reach parts. The atrium will lead out to a huge new concourse, which will connect to the platforms via 15 new lifts and 30 new escalators. All this being done without a single train diverted or cancelled. We're building this concourse in two halves. So here we can open this part of the station at the end of 2012 with a completely new concourse. And you, we're building this without anybody really seeing what we're doing. When we've done this, we'll turn to the old concourse and give that our attention uh, and join the two together in 2015 to open up the new gateway station. The old concrete exterior will be reclad with thousands of stainless steel panels and huge I-shaped TV screens will display travel information over the eight new entrances. This test section built in railway sidings just outside the city centre shows that we're certainly in for a shiny new station. The project has escaped the new coalition government's funding cuts, good news for the millions of rail passengers who will use it each year, and the city's international image. For too long, this station, largest city outside of the capital, developed for 60 million people, has creaked at the seams, coping with 33 million people. And what a reputation it's left all our overseas visitors. This concrete removal stage should be complete by the autumn, and then work can really begin on Birmingham's new New Street station. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight.